it's been a while since I've done one of these yapping videos, just a rant video essentially. And since there's nothing going on on Global Dokkan, there's nothing going to happen on Dokkan for quite some time. I figured this would just be the perfect time to get this in. Um, also, yeah, I haven't been recording lately because I had a bit of strep. You know, I didn't want to start yapping into my mic <laughs> with any of that. But now that I'm feeling better, <clears throat> I am back on here. But uh, today's topic, I just wanted to, you know, go over that. Dokkan might be ready for PvP now. Uh, if we go into this this start here, this start menu, uh, obviously, if they would do PvP, it would just be like one of these modes, right? So you just click on it, it would take you straight into PvP. Woohoo, we're in the PvP screen, something like that, right? But um, one of the biggest issues with Dokkan is since it's basically just a card game, and in order to get stronger, you just get more cards right that's that's really um i mean skill is not really yeah skill isn't really a thing in dokkan it's more um just game knowledge and knowing the game because like i would either you're not timing any reaction like in legends right there's no like reaction timing or anything like that except for like the dokkan attack which is shut up okay shut up <laughs> um however you know one thing that really could drive pvp forward is like you know, knowing all the characters' abilities, like Pokemon, essentially. Uh, I guess that would be the, um... You know, it's a turn-based RPG, literally. But, um... It, it would play... It would certainly play, like, a lot different than Legends, of course. Now, um... One way they could solve, you know, just Will sweeping everything is just... Give us a separate box. Or not just a separate box, just a separate hidden potential system. If we just go over to the hidden potential system here. Just give characters... A second hidden potential screen, one for PvP and one for PvE, and you can fill out the nodes from PvE by, um, I guess, orbs that you would earn in battle, right? You earn them from beating people, and that's how you increase your character's strength rather than, you know, just buying more characters. <laughs> I guess that's one way they can do it. Now, one issue potentially with that is Dokkan could get greedy, right? If Dokkan ever were to say, you know, let's just... Okay, well, okay, so let me let me backtrack before I finish that point. Uh, one thing that really could make Dokkan PvP interesting is just more experienced players, right? They know characters' abilities, and they know a lot of abilities that might translate better to PvP than, you know, other people. Maybe, like, a character that's good in PvE might not be good for PvP. All right. So, you know, just, you know, people knowing the characters, knowing their way around the passive skills and how to set up rotations and stuff like that could give players an edge. However, if uh, Dokkan just decides to drop 50 million characters that are just hell-bent on breaking the PvP meta, and they're, they don't even work in PvE or something like that, right? And they just spam characters that destroy PvE, I mean PvP, then, you know, that would just make, that would just take all the fun away, since they're basically just doing the, they're doing it for you, pretty much, is essentially what could happen. Because obviously, if people would buy characters that would make them better at pvp I mean, it's, not, it's just not even a question like orange piccolo i don't know like like, if, uh, hmm. like orange piccolo is probably just a character who would be good all around but one character in particular let's bring up the come on let's bring up the tech androids all right like imagine if the fight starts and these guys just throw out their active skill and you can't do anything and then they nullify the key blast that would be pretty ridiculous right and I'll, one thing that could be interesting is, let's say, here, anyway, let's just type in, I know we don't have to type it in, it's a saga, so it's going to be right up here. We just go Universe Survival Saga. Let's just say someone just brings, like, 50 million UI Gokus and, like, a Tech Khalifla, a Tech Khalifla's SSR, right? And you just happen to have, like, a, and, like, maybe, like, the PvP meta would be heavily pure Saiyan based, because they're very popular characters, I, I would say. You know, all the UIs, the Evolution Blues. Uh, I guess just, you know, even Super Saiyan Nemec Goku was pretty hype, even though he was just Super Saiyan 1, essentially. Uh, not essentially, he is Super Saiyan 1. Which isn't really hype, but, you know, he's a Saiyan. That was a pretty a pretty good moment in Dragon Ball, you know what I'm saying? But, right, someone could just throw out, like, let's just... Let's go Physical Beerus, right? He would just poop all over their Cheerios, right? <laughs> With his anti-dodge, or um, let's just say Android 13, right? Attacks guaranteed to hit. Actually, I wonder how that would work. Guaranteed to hit versus guaranteed dodge. Like, how would that work if someone pops, like, STR Blue Gogeta and you just throw this guy out? 
All right, that would like that would be pretty fun. That's what makes P like the potential for PvP and Dokkan so fun. And like, there's no way it could ruin the game because even if PvP is ruined, we can just still go back to playing PvE. Like, I, I, it wouldn't really hurt it that bad. Now, one other thing I wanted to go over is um with domains. Oh my goodness, and b domains and boss territories. Let's go to um. Actually, I'm not, listen, I'm not a JP player. I heard people say, like, the bosses are going to have, like, territory skills and stuff. Is this, does this happen in Blue Zone? Or is that, like, just for the future? Like, I'm not sure if it's already in-game. But, like, you know, boss territories can, they can, like, nullify, uh, like, you raising your attack or defense. They can, ob I mean, obviously, like, cancel dodge, cancel damage reduction, stuff like that. So I'm just curious if that's in-game or if that's just something that they were, like, letting us know for the future. Also, one thing is, with the uh, Global and JP Sync, that would potentially be a lot easier to integrate for the um, Akatsuki team as well. Uh, one other thing is, with the, you know, the territories and the domains, that could be just an extra layer of, you know, uh, versatility in the meta, or if, you know, we ever would get PvP. Right, you can pop domains. It might make characters that people wouldn't expect to be good. Good, right? It's like um, it's like in Legends, right? When Goresh brings like an absolutely terrible team and just spanks some other player, right? <laughs> like that would just be so fun and uh, just to have in Dokkan. Just we have so we have so many cards in Dokkan, <clears throat> which um brings up another problem is it could be terribly hard to balance. Like, or you would need like an entire like corporation. <laughs> just to balance that out like the like well how many cars are in dokkan actually let me see i wonder like if i just look it up will it just give me a number how many units are in dokkan battle 2024 i don't even know where we like where, where we would look to find this this is from 2023 let's see 850 characters at at least SR. There's just some random post on Reddit I'm reading. So 850 characters at at least L uh, SR or higher. I mean, they could. Oh my god. See, now if they just limit the characters you can use in PvP, then it's like boring, right? Then like nobody cares, bro. It's like, you're telling me how to play the game for me. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm just not gonna play. But maybe if like they would just get rid of like all the SRs and SSR, like your character has to be at UR or higher to uh enter pvp that that could be pretty interesting uh that could be one that could just make it easier and alleviate some of the challenges that come with uh balancing characters i know a lot of pvp games struggle with balancing it's not just you know it wouldn't just be a first if dokkan fumbles the, the team balancing or character balancing and stuff i mean as it is right now in a pve game there's characters that are much more broken than others right you take a look at, um, let's just say, Tech Frost, uh, compared to uh, Tech Battle of Gods Vegeta. Both banner units, right? Just one is significantly stronger, and it's not even close. <clears throat> and another point I could bring up is, um, well, I, I am going to bring up. It's not a point that I could bring up. Uh, let's see. This is JP, I guess. I don't know, shouldn't there just be a button for me to switch to, oh, language settings, I don't know, there, I thought there was just going to be a button that I could just hit, boop, and go to global, but it's whatever, um, okay, let me just share my other screen here, okay, so here we have, oh, oh, well, I guess I probably should have done this before, huh, <laughs> Let's well, whatever. I don't. I don't edit these, so we're just gonna do this all in real time. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna resize the screen uh, to the best of my ability. But right. Okay. Well, 1080p aspect ratio doesn't quite fit in OBS, so we'll just do it like this. As you can see, we already have Dragon Ball Legends, which plays terribly on PC, by the way. Like, there's just. Like, I don't know. I should I even install it? I don't even know if I want to play test it on PC. Let's, let's see, what is this like? How long is this? this isn't, it's not going to take long at all to download. Let's just play it. I'm opening up Dragon Ball Legends now. Let me see if I can switch to the screen that it's on. Okay, here. Window capture. 
Uh, Dragon Ball Legends, yeah, there it is. Okay, well, okay, well, hold on, let me see. <laughs> I don't have the backdrop. <laughs> I don't have, like, the backdrop on this, it's just a black screen. But this is, uh, Dragon Ball Legends, let's see, obviously English. Voice, honestly, Japanese, I prefer, I prefer sub for Dragon Ball. It's like, you're only missing out on Goku's voice, honestly, and... Sean Shimmel does a very good job of voice acting. Um, but, uh, Goku is... Goku's a hillbilly, okay? It doesn't quite sound right with uh, having Superman voice, uh, Goku. Touch screen. Times of service, shut up. Uh, okay, accept all, who cares? Yep, uh, you can... Yep, you have all rights reserved to my ball sack, whatever. Uh, if you need to collect my organs, if something ever goes wrong. What the hell is even this? What am I even looking at right here, dude? This is actually... What the hell is that? Oh, okay, it's supposed to... Oh, I thought that was the rotate button. What the actual hell was I even looking at? Hey, 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 whoa, 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 uh, yeah, blah, 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 yep, 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 okay, they can't hear that. I was about to say, I hear Dan Dan's playing in the background of Legends. That's so stupid. Who asked for this? Well, I mean, just download all, dude. I'm on, I'm on PC, bro, it's, it's, it's not gonna hurt. Alright, so now loading. So as we can see, we have, this is on PC, by the way. Like, this isn't emulated, this is Google Play Games Beta. I'm not streaming it from my phone to my PC, this is playing native on my computer, okay? Now, maybe the Global and JP Sync is happening to get this up here? I mean, I doubt that it would be that big of a deal, but obviously with the Global and JP Sync, this would be a lot easier to implement a PC version of Dokkan, and then, you know, everyone can just boot up their computers, click on maybe Steam, if it would ever come to Steam, right? Maybe it would just be on Google Play again. Wow, that's actually taking longer than I thought. I'm literally on a wired connection. Oh, not six gigs? Well, well, <laughs> yeah, the Dragon Ball Legends on the PC, everyone. Uh, you can do that. So if Dokkan were to ever join, I mean, dude, animations would look so, like, don't get me wrong, we have, like, thousand dollar smartphones that can play, like, next-gen video games. They were uh, at the cost of potentially blowing up due to the heat, but, um, you know, they can play, like, next-gen video games and the graphics look very good. They would look ten times better on PC still. Uh, so if they would just get that over, that would be pretty interesting. I already did a video on this before, but... Uh, you know, if we added PvP to this, it could make things a bit more interesting. Yeah, that's just not, that's just not down. Okay, please stop playing Dan Dan in my, in my ears. I'm good. Okay, well, I just closed it out. Um, I mean, just let, let, you guys let me know what you guys would think of PvP. What would they have to do to imp implement PvP? What are you guys' ideas? I think they would just simply, uh, give us a second hidden potential system, right? Um, Every time you win a fight, right, you get like 500 orbs of each type or something like that. And then um, you can put them into your characters. Uh, hmm. I would. It's like you can get potential orbs. I don't know. Maybe they could just let you unlock like all four nodes are, un are unlocked. As, like, as long as you have the character. You don't actually have to unlock the nodes. So it would just give you the orbs to fill out the slots, right? Cause, yeah, like rewards for, like to actually unlock the nodes, that would be, that would be real grimy. Oh, uh, what else? I don't think I'm missing anything, really. Cause obviously, uh, Dokkan, they make their money by selling you characters, and the character has to be good for you to want to buy them. So if a character, well not even a character, if they, if like the character isn't good for PvP, that might not matter, as long as we keep the PvE mode, obviously, but, um... One other thing is, you know... If... Summoning for dupes isn't going to help you in PvP, that could lower the incentive for people to summon for dupes. But, I mean, if you were summoning a, Like, if they just keep the characters good for PvE... And, um... I don't know, like, would that switch the attitude of the players? Would people just only care about PvP? That, that, would, be, that would be interesting to see. Cause like, I guess like it would be the ego of the players, right? Everyone wants to be the best, right? Yeah, it really depends. Uh, 
like how the um, player attitude would change. Cause I know, in, like, um, like I play a lot of Call of Duty. Um, like when MW3 ranked came out, like, and everyone just didn't stop. They didn't stop playing pubs. And actually, speaking of Call of Duty, uh, if you guys have been, you know, just playing games or just, you know, paying attention to like video game content, you would know like battle royale games have been really popular within like the last five to six years. And if you've been around for the like the past five years, you would know Warzone is a very big game mode. And uh, let me just see if I can pull something up. Okay, I'm gonna go over to my YouTube. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. So here we go. Here is one of the one of the biggest. I guess just it's just a loot box of content that is well. Let me lower that. Let me lower that. It's literally just a loot box of content that you can just open up for Dokkan. Oh, let me actually switch to the screen. Let me switch to the screen. There we go. One of the biggest, um, some of the best content, not even the best content, but like the biggest chunk of content you can get is, look at this, look at this. Warzone loadouts, okay. What does that have to do with Dokkan? Well, um, Imagine all of the, this is the new best team in Dokkan for PvP, right? Just imagine the content that you can get from this. Okay, Sparking Zero, that's, that has nothing to do with it. I joined millions of, how can I? Oh, no, get this off my screen, where's the report ad? Okay, sick. So, so, whatever. <laughs> but as you can see, like just a bunch of stupid Warzone loadout videos claiming uh, this is the new best. Oh, this is the broken. Oh, this was really good. Uh, watch my video. Uh, no recoil. Right now, I just imagine, like, just all the clickbait content. <laughs> this is the new best team for Dokkan PvP, right? So, I mean, that... That would probably be, um, something very interesting for Dokkan. And I know, um... Hmm. I guess Pokemon Showdown is still pretty popular, huh? Let me, let me take a look. Well, my, my computer apparently paused when I hit P to type Pokemon Showdown. Right, right, right. That makes sense. I forgot that was my hotkey. But as you can see, there's just a lot of content uh, like revolving around that in my face, revolving around PvP because there's only so many ways you can beat down an AI boss before it gets stale. OK, that is the main difference with PvE versus PvP beating in they're like once a game developer drops a boss. Like an AI ball, it might not even be AI since Dokkan was, was like procedurally generated or something like that, right? All their attack patterns are fixed. But if you're actually fighting, oh, that would that could mess with connection too. Anyways, well, let, let me continue. Um, but if you're fighting an actual player who can like react differently to each and every single uh, move you make, uh, that would be pretty interesting, right? Instead of just beating down on. Murdzamasu, who just rolls the dice on his attack pattern every turn, or Omega, who just rolls the dice on his attack pattern every turn. I mean, the domains would they have added domains, but even like these um these NPC bosses can be pretty fun. Dokkan PvP would take it to the next level. But uh, as I said before, you guys let me know what you guys would think of PvP. Would you want PvP? How do you think they could implement PvP? And uh, with that, we will be waiting for more content on Global. I mean, we, we got the Androids. <laughs> like, the good, like, as a Dokkan player, I'm really satisfied with not having to summon on anything. Like, I know I don't have to summon on anything, but um, for content, obviously, it, it's terrible. Glo being a Global content creator is terrible. But, be, you know, for actual free-to-play players, it's... It, it's real. But, for Quibble for set, I of course it's real. Okay. I'm not, I'm not summoning on the ant It's like, okay. I'm saving up for ninth anniversary. Thank you very much. But uh, with that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Um, leave a comment down below, I guess, also. But what you need me to... Well, you don't need me to talk about anything. It's, it's a video game. What you want me to talk about. And um, I'll, I'll get the video up. Uh... Yeah, that, that'll be all. I'll catch you guys in the next one.